and energy state. So in ADHD brains, caffeine often sharpens focus and reduces impulsivity, but it can also be so calming that it can allow you to sleep. So in autistic brains, it might cause jittery overdrive and a crash triggers anxiety without helping focus, or it just does nothing. And here's where mitochondrial allostatic load or MAL walks in. So this is the stress on our mitochondria, our cell's power plant, from years of constant pressure and sensory overload and masking. So high MAL means our mitochondria makes less energy. It produces more oxidative stress and leaves us with higher adenosine levels. This means that our caffeine response changes will depend on our MAL at that point in time. So if you're autistic and wondering why coffee sometimes feels like rocket fuel and sometimes it's like a panic button, it's really not random. It's your brain's immune and energy systems in real time. And the question now becomes, what can we do about this unpredictability? So you can either track your caffeine response alongside sleep, stress, or gut symptoms, it's complicated. And you can also use some wearables or sample blood biomarkers to find your best caffeine days. Or you can just support your brain with microglia calming strategies like omega-3s, LDN, or help your mitochondria with CoQ10, nicotinamide riboside, NADs, or even moderate exercise. I hope this helps. I wrote about all this in a Substack article, and I'm going to link that article here. I'm going to ask you to please support me and join my Substack. It is free. Uh, please read Improve Your Health Literacy. It's very important for all of us. So I hope you learn a lot more and be more understanding about our own brains and our own health.